everyone, since HiveOS has now fully implemented the NVIDIA GDDR6X memory temperature reporting, everyone sees how hot their cars are running. Case in point, the gaming computer that I just bought for my wife, which is right down here on Triana PC. Let's click on that. I have a MSI 3070 Ti Ventus 3X model GPU in there for her to game with, and when she's not gaming, reboots in the Hive OS, and sits here in mine. So, as you can tell, she's running pretty hot. She goes basically between 94C and like 104C. Not enough to thermal throttle, way too hot for my liking. So what we're going to do today is yank it out of her computer right off on the side, and we're going to put it on the bench and give it a good repasting, or repasting and repadding. See if we can get these temperatures down. Okay, so we got the offending card out. This is the MSI 3070 Ti Ventus 3X. No RGB, just a 3070 Ti card. So what we're going to do, we're going to repad and repaste it. You got the pads over here. The paste is right here. More than enough, cry or not. That's my choice that I like to use. So let's go ahead and get this cracked open. Okay, I did not need to undo those three screws. We've got two fan connectors here. Gently get rid of those. There we go. And we can see the oil deposits right on the memory chips themselves. The paste is okay on the core itself. We can see the corresponding dies. At least they're using the right size, but these are probably crap quality. So let me get my calipers out and I'm going to measure how thick these pads really are. They're roughly two millimeter. They're crushing down a little bit. Probably from wear and tear and everything else, but we're going to try two millimeter pads for the RAM chips themselves today. I'm not going to touch the VRM or the chokes. They seem to be still touching fine. I'm just going to clean them up real quick. Same deal over here. I'm just interested in the memory chips and we'll do a quick repaste. Now this is just a bottle of 99% uh, rubbing alcohol. Easy to clean up stuff. <clears throat> clean enough for me, so let's get this out of the way. And let's find some two millimeter. Two and a half, two. So today we're going to be using Thermal Right Extreme Odyssey Thermal Pads, 2 millimeter. These are good for 12.8 watts a meter Kelvin. So, not bad. And it just comes in one big sheet that we got a custom cut down. Now we should be able to get them off one at a time and just put them directly onto the memory chips. Okay, so there's our replacement thermal pads for our memory. Let me clean this up and then we'll go ahead and repaste the core. <clears throat> and now we're ready for reassembly. So let's put the fans back together first before we flip it back onto itself. Okay, now let's gently flip it back over. Now these little holes right here, if I get rid of this little piece that's sitting right there. Now these little four holes, you should feel them clip through these four holes very gently. There we go. Now we can pick up the whole thing as a sandwich and flip it over. So we got it all back together now. You can still see the broken seal here. I could care less about that. And if I look at this angle right here, you can see at least three of the brand new pads that we put in there. And they seem to be sandwiched quite nicely. Not too much. We're not bowing the PCB out. And it doesn't look like there's any gapping in there. So this probably should work. Let's go ahead and throw this back into my wife's gaming PC. Throw it in the Hive OS and see what it does now. 
Okay, so I got the card reinstalled in my wife's gaming computer, and we can see on the screen here it's been running for about 17.58 minutes. Let's see here. Eight, okay, 18 and a half minutes. And our temperatures, the core went up a little bit. We're running about 47 or 49 degrees C. We're running 53. There's a reason for that. Hold on a second. The memory temperature went from roughly an average of 100 C down to 76 to 78 C. I've seen. I want to give it 15 minutes so this way heat soaks inside that case. But also, the fans were always pegged at 100% because I set my auto fans 50 degrees core, 80 degrees on the memory. So it always had to peg it at 100% just to keep it from thermal throttling. We're only running 78% here. Now the reason the core is still running a little warmer than before isn't because the Noctua... Um, or sorry, yeah, Noctua? No, not Noctua. Where the heck is it? Oh, Cryonaut. The Cryonaut thermal paste is not inferior. It works beautifully. The reason being is we're actually dumping more heat from the memory chips onto that main plate. So the core has to contend with a little bit more heat now. Still, 53 is perfectly fine for the core temperature. And no invalid, no nothing. That was an easy fix. Honestly, I don't see the need, at least on the 3070Ti, for these newer fangled copper plates that everyone wants to spend $30 on. You can honestly buy that 2 millimeter thick or whatever size your 3070Ti uses, because each manufacturer is going to use a different thickness thermal pad for, what, $15, $18. It's so much cheaper, and it already works as long as you get the right size. The thermal pads just suck from the man manufacturer. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you a little bit. I love the idea of copper, but yeah, it's just not worth the extra cost for it, really. Just put some new pads on it and call it a day. I will have affiliate links down below for the pads and the paste if you're interested. If not, no big deal. Come say hi to me and everyone else over at uh, Misfit Mining, and I'll catch you on the next video.